Hi, and welcome to my channel. Again, we have another Timu haul. Surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> anyway, today we have a pretty good variety of things. Um, hopefully you'll see something that you like, as I usually do. All of the links will be down in my description box and as well as my affiliate information. So if you have never downloaded the app before, you can download the app and get, uh, if you use my code, you'll get 30% off your first order, as well as a $100 coupon bundle. So great deals and extra discounts are always good. So yeah, so why don't we get into it? Let's get started. I gotta stop looking at myself. <laughs> okay, so actually before we start into today's um, items, I do have uh, a couple of little updates. I'm not sure how many hauls ago it was that I uh, had some tattoo eyebrows that I had tried to put on before my video and it had not gone well. I have tried a couple of times since then and I just can't get them to adhere properly. So every time I try to do it, especially around this inner part of my eyebrows, it just never seals to my skin. So I don't know if it's because as little eyebrows that I do have, I do have some, and so it's not getting a chance to stick to my skin very well, or, or if they're just crap, I really don't know. <laughs> but I tried again today, and again, I was like peeling over here, and, and it just looks horrible. They're also not a very good color for me. They're very reddish. So anyway, those are not good. Don't recommend those at all. And then the next one that I have is, this is the UV gel nail wraps that I hauled in my last video. So these were super easy to put on. You just pull them off the page, like find the right size, pull it off the little page and then stick it on, kind of flatten it. I, I do have a little video of me doing the one nail and then once you've got it nice and smooth down, then you just put it under the UV, well, sorry, then you have to file it to the length of your nail, and then you put it under the UV lamp for 60 seconds. Now, that's what I was doing when I did this hand. This hand, I actually tried a different method because I've seen other gel nail wraps and they say to, you know, put it on, smooth it down, and then kind of just make sure it's just kind of coming straight out from your finger and then cure it and then just trim the excess with nail clippers. So that's what I did with this hand. I don't know that I'd say it ultimately turned out better, but I found it easier to do it that way because when they're soft and you're trying to, um, you know, file them off, it doesn't work the greatest necessarily. Whereas if you can cure them and then trim them with nail clippers and then just file them a little bit then after the fact, I think that works better. So that is what I would recommend that you do is cure them, then trim them with clippers and uh, then just use a little nail file just to round them off if you've got any kind of rough edges from the clippers. But yeah, super easy. I uh, see how long they last. I did end up putting a top, co top coat over them. So I'm hoping that will make them last a little bit longer, but I really, really like these. I'm hoping that they come back in stock because I would like to get these ones again. So yeah. All right, so let's get started with today's items. So the first item I have is, well, <laughs> I don't actually have because it's already been installed and it is a glass washer. So I got this on my secondary Temu account when I first ordered on it. So I had gotten multiple items for free. The listing that it was from uh, is currently sold out, but there are other similar listings. The one that I got, part of the middle part of it where the water comes out is uh, stainless steel. There are some on there that are strictly plastic. So ones that have the stainless center, I found one for around about $12 with a different seller. 
um, there is a big range of them. There are some that are pretty much all stainless and those ones are more expensive and some that are all plastic and those are cheaper. But I love this thing. It is wonderful. <laughs> so it's my husband installed it. He said it is super easy to install. If you've ever installed just a faucet, it's, you know, same type of pro process to install it. The only issue is whether or not you have a hole in your counter for it. So our counter did already have a hole because it had a spot where you could put a soap dispenser and have it, you know, it wouldn't be the bottle would be mounted under the counter and then just the nozzle was on top. So, and we don't use it. So we just took that away and put this in its place. And I love it. <laughs> it's just so nice to be able to just stick a glass on it and just have it rinsed. So really, I can't say, and I, I mean, it's also kind of fun to play with. <laughs> My husband was playing a little bit with it the other day and then pushed down on it when he didn't have a glass, which was kind of funny. But anyway, so everything that you need to install it comes with it. My husband did add in some Teflon tape and then he did put a little bit of a silicone seal around it too, just to be on the safe side because we didn't want, obviously want to have leaks. So, but yeah, this, I definitely recommend this. I, I you know, just for rinsing things, even if it's just before you're putting it in your dishwasher or, you know, if you've used the glass and you're gonna have something different to drink and you wanna rinse it in between, it's just a nice, quick, easy way to do it. So love my glass washer. All right, so our next item is this stair storage bin. So I paid $13.49 for this. I did get a price adjustment the current price is $13.98 so this is the only color it was available in this dark kind of heathered gray look oops so it is as I said $13.98 for one or you can buy a pack of two for $26.98 now this is just like a heavy felt I did see some online that showed like a cardboard kind of frame, I guess, to it that was covered in felt. This isn't like that. This is just like a head, well, at least I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like there's cardboard in there. It's just like a, a good heavy felt. It is about 9.84 inches wide. From the very bottom to the very top, it is 16.53. And then this section here, and then how far out it goes is about 8.26. And so this just goes on like a set of stairs. So, you know, you'll have this top part on one step and then the lower part would be on the next step down. So I, seems good quality. Um, I mean, it's a little, folded and not really holding its shape currently but seems like it'll be very useful we don't have a closet by our side door where that we use most often for coming in our house so it's it's kind of hard when you don't have a closet right there for you know all your jackets and stuff and things so this I think will come in handy for the sake of like hats, especially in winter months when you've got hats or scarves and, and gloves and stuff. Plus we also have two dogs. So they have their little coats or sweaters as well as their leashes. So I figured this would be good for their stuff too. So hoping that it works out. Um, don't think my husband's gonna be very happy about it. He'll probably think it's just uh, something else cluttering up the stairs but I just think it'll be a good way to keep things a little more organized so the next item is this scraper handle I previously in a haul hauled some um, of the blades that you use for these types of things like I got a pack of 50 and the reason I just got the blades then is because I already had a handle like this and could I find it anywhere? No, I still have not found it. So I went ahead and ordered a new one from Temu. So it just has the little button here to slide it up to get the, the blade out. 
and if you push it all the way up then you can just grab the blade and slide it out for when you need to replace it so just pull it out and then put a new one in and then just slide this back down so that it holds it so I paid $1.52 for this it is currently sold out from the seller that I purchased from but there are other listings available for these and they I think the cheapest one I saw was around $2.48 it comes in this yellow color or you can get it in orange and it's about five inches long and about one and a half inches wide I really like this for cleaning my glass stovetop it's also good if you know you have to like scrape paint off of things like or clean your windows like if you've got like little things stuck on the windows to clean that so it's I, I really find it to be a, a valuable tool to have around the house the other thing you can get is these little plastic blades for it and they just fit in it the same as the metal ones would and that's just you know maybe surfaces that you're a little more needing to be a little more careful with that you can use the the plastic ones so super good handy tool Better close it don't want to leave that laying around sticking out Ugh, cold tea Ooh. So the next couple of items are some makeup items. The first one being this little tub of concealer. So it's the brand Lang Mani. I paid $2.24 for it. It is currently $2.98. I'm not 100% sure. I believe it probably comes in 11 different colors. The listing has numbers one up to 11, but number nine is missing. So they actually only have 10 colors available currently, but I think probably there is meant to be another color. So I got color one, which is the lightest and it's called porcelain. I got this because I had seen other YouTubers haul it and say how much they liked it. And I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it gives fairly good coverage and it blends well enough. And maybe it's because I don't typically use foundation. I'm more inclined to use a BB cream. But I just found it really bad for settling into little fine lines on my face. So when I first put it on, I thought it was fine. I was happy with it. And then just as the day wore on, I just really felt it settled into little fine lines, especially around my eyes. So, which clearly is not ideal. So. Yeah, I, I don't really like this and I would not purchase this again. I guess if you're younger and less wrinkly than me, maybe you would like it. But yeah, I didn't like it. So do not recommend. Next, we have this double ended stick concealer stick. So it is a light uh, concealer on one end and then a dark, what do you call them? contour <laughs> a contour stick on the other end so this is it here uh, it does come in two shades I got the lighter of the two I paid 348 for this it is currently 314 it's about five inches in length so it doesn't have a ton of uh, product in it but I mean I don't think you'd use a ton of it anyway at a time I think it would still last a fair while this I've never used contour before maybe that sounds crazy to people but I, I never have I have used concealer not in a stick form I've usually used like a liquid concealer but yeah I don't I don't know it's a, uh, oops. The contour definitely has some color to it. I don't really know that it made any difference. Like I used it today, but I don't think it, I don't think it made any difference to how my makeup looks. 
um, this is the colors here. So the concealer I found very, very light when I was putting it on my face, like it was almost like you could, you could hardly even see it. The contour uh, obviously showed up. It blended fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just uh, my process of applying it and using it, but I really don't think it made any difference to my face. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know. It's fine. I don't know if it's great. So the next, this next item is a three in one blush stick. I paid $4.98 for it. This is the little container I got. Um, it is now discontinued. When I was looking online to see whether or not maybe a different seller had this, all of the ones I were seeing that had like the name, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's H-E-C-I, Hesse. All of the ones that were that like branded with Hesse on it were heart shaped. So I don't know if when I bought this, it was just kind of old stock and that the heart shaped one is their current product. Cause like I said, that's all I could find online. I could not find these ones. So I, I'm inclined to think that that's the case. Cause I, the color I got is called candy rose and they'd have a color candy rose with these heart shaped ones. So the heart shaped ones I saw were around about 548 and they had about seven different colors. As I said, I purchased the color called candy rose and this is what the color looks like. I did put it on today. It does go on nice. It blended nice and yeah, I, I, I'm happy with it. I think it's I think it's a nice color and I, I like the product it is it is a nice color it's it applies nice it blends nice so I definitely recommend it but as I said I think it's gonna be the heart shaped one that you get if you were to order it now the so next thing we have is this face cream it is the brand now noon and it is a it says peptides cream it says it has Botox substract it has 5% hyaluronic acid and 2.5% retinol, and it is supposed to smooth wrinkles and uh, tighten the skin. So I paid $9.48 for this. I did get a bit of a price adjustment. Uh, it is still $9.48. I saw this hauled by Erin over on the channel, Hey Everybody, and she had bought it and really liked it and had purchased it again. So I thought I would give it a try based on her thoughts on it. So I did put it on today. It does sort of say that you'd have to use it for, you know, a few weeks to really start seeing a difference in it. It's, uh, if, if you get it, it does not have, it's a pump, but it doesn't have a stick in it. And I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not but I was pumping it and nothing seemed to be coming out. But then I did uh, rotate this little piece up top and it doesn't feel like there's like a locked position and an open position, but, and maybe it didn't, maybe that's not why it worked. Maybe it was just that I eventually had pumped it enough. The product came out, but I, I was pumping it for quite a while and nothing was coming out. And then I sort of twisted the top and I did get some to come out. It has a little bit of a scent, kind of perfumey, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Maybe a little, maybe a little citrusy. I, it's not a, it's not a bad scent. It's, it's pretty, pretty mild, and it's pleasant enough. So I haven't really used it enough to really know if it's gonna do wonders and smooth my wrinkles and tighten my skin, <laughs> but. We will keep trying it and see how it goes. So the next item I have is just this little travel case with uh, dental floss. I paid 99 cents for this. I did get a bit of a price adjustment. Uh, current price is 99 cents. So you can get it in a container like this that is pink or they also have green ones and then there are 
10 dental picks already inside of it. So it's just a nice little size for sticking in your purse. It's only about three inches long and about an inch in width. And yeah, just something I can throw on my purse to have little dental picks with me if I need them. Then also to go along with that, I bought a package of dental picks. So I paid $1.34 for these. They are currently $1.48 for the pack that I got, which has 50 in it. You can also get a pack of 30 for 98 cents, a package of 150 for 348, a package of 300 for 648, or 600 for 9.98. And yeah, not a lot to say about them. They're just some dental picks. So. So the next item is a crafting item and it is an acrylic template for making a memory bear. So I paid $5.99 for this. I had gotten it when I had an up to 90% off coupon. The regular price for this one is $10.55 and that is the medium size which ultimately is supposed to make a bear that is 12 inches long or high. 12 inches in height. You can also purchase a small version of this, which creates a 10 inch bear, and that is $9.23 for it. And there's also a large, which creates a 15 inch bear, and that one is $12.75. So they're just pieces of acrylic. So they're good thickness, so nice and sturdy. And there's 10 pieces to make up the pattern. They are, they're labeled, but they're just labeled with this like number and like the M for medium size. So I find that a little bit strange that it doesn't, you know, tell you what piece it is for, like, you know, as far as like what body part <laughs> it's for, like this one is, I believe the back body part. So it does have some instructions that it came with. So it does have this little part here and that tells you, you know, what each part is. So yeah, so this is the back of the body. But to me, it would make more sense instead of having this code on it, just to say back of body on it, it would make it easier in my opinion. I'm not a really experienced sewer. I have sewn quite a bit of things and I started sewing when I was in high school, but you know, I, I'm, I'm just not a very experienced sewer and I found these instructions almost useless because they really don't have much as far as words. You're mostly going off of the pictures, which if you've never put a, a pattern like this together before, you know, when you're creating something that ultimately is going to be like 3D, pictures like this aren't necessarily going to help a whole lot. It's very hard to tell exactly what the pictures are referring to and what pieces you're putting together and how, you know, how they're laid on, on the table. So, I mean, something's better than nothing. If I hadn't had anything, I definitely would have been in more trouble, but I did find it a bit of a struggle figuring out exactly what I was supposed to be doing based on these instructions. So they also have it like the, in the picture, it's like a fabric that is polka dot on one side and then solid color on the other side. And for whatever reason in the pictures, I guess it's stars, not polka dots, but for whatever reason in the pictures, it's like they use the star side as the wrong side of the fabric and the plain side as the right side, which I think is a little backwards, which also adds to a little bit to the confusion because it doesn't specifically say when you're putting the pieces together, you know, make sure that you've got the wrong sides together or make sure you've got the right sides of the fabric together. So, and so when it shows you like this, to me, you would think that that's the good side of the fabric and it's telling you to put it together and then stitch. Well, then that wouldn't be right. So like I said, just not the greatest instructions. I did uh, make a bear and please be kind to my poor little bear because she's cute. 
but she has her problems. So <laughs> this is my little bear. And like I said, I've, I have never sewn anything like this before. I've only ever sewn like clothing for like people or like my kids when they were little. I did like Halloween costumes and stuff that I sewed. I haven't ever sewn a stuffed toy. So it, it turned out okay. I do think the proportions are a little weird. Like I think the arms seem rather big for the, for the bear, but yeah, it did turn out cute. Uh, definitely it says it's supposed to make a bear that's 12 inches. It's definitely referring to it, you know, if you were stretching out its legs, whereas it typically looks like it would be mainly used for sitting. It's definitely not 12 inches sitting. So it is cute. I wish I'd got the bigger size because sewing little pieces like this, um, you know, just putting it together, it was a little fiddly and a little frustrating to say the least. So, but it is cute. Uh, I had thought potentially of making these to sell. A lot of people will make these types of things out of, you know, clothing of a deceased loved one or you know baby clothes once your baby has outgrown them and you know if they had some favorite outfits they will make little bears out of the clothing uh unless i make another one and it goes a lot smoother for me i don't think i will be <laughs> trying to sell these because i did not enjoy particularly making it although it did turn out somewhat cute <laughs> The next item is a item I got for free playing Farmland. Uh, I think it was just like an extra free thing that I got at one point. It wasn't like one of the main prizes that I picked and it's just this little Blooming Flowers metal die cut. So it is currently sold out. When they do have it, it sells for about $5.98. Um, I haven't tried it yet. It seems good. I have bought other dies off of Temu and they've worked fine so I expect this one will be the same. I mentioned in a previous video when I had hauled uh, a die cut that it is a little thinner than the die cuts that I've purchased before in you know Michaels or Hobby Lobby but it still worked perfectly fine and price wise it's a good deal over you know what I pay especially here in Canada it's uh, prices for crafts here and the deals that you get here are just nothing compared to like the deals you can get in the US so this next item is something that my daughter wanted and it is a yarn winder this was 1837 when I purchased it currently it is 2048 the listing I purchased it from actually shows two different colors in the pictures, but they only have had the red color that I can see. I haven't never noticed them having the other for purchase available for purchase. So my daughter is very happy with it. It uh, comes with little instructions on how to use it. And this is what it looks like. So it has this little clamp part for attaching it to a table. And then it's got this little yarn guide that folds down for storage. And then when you're wanting to use it, you're just supposed to pull it up and then pull it out and it locks into place. This part isn't the greatest. It tends to fall over even when it's supposed to be in that locked position. And it's not just like my daughter's like reading through the reviews on it. There was numerous people that comment about the fact that that would not, that part wouldn't stay up for them. So yeah, so this is just a little dial here for adjusting the clamp. And then you just have your yarn sitting, put it through the guide here, and then you feed the end of it through this top part and then you just turn. So and you take something like this and make it into something like this. So most people, if, they're, if they do this, it's the main reason is because yarn that comes in this skein is usually wound fairly loosely. 
So when you wind it on the yarn winder, you get a, a more compact and tighter uh, wound cake of yarn. And that just makes it easier for when you're using it, you're less likely to get tangles in the yarn as you're going through using it. So yeah, my daughter, <laughs> she yeah, took about, I think she did about five different balls of uh, yarn and made little cakes as they call them out of them because she was having fun doing it and was felt it was very satisfying to come out with this little cake of yarn at the end. So the next item I have is a piece of jewelry. It just, it was a necklace. It just kind of came in this little plastic container, not nothing uh, too fancy for sure. I paid $13.47 for it. I did get a price adjustment. The current price on it is $12.14. And this is it here. So it is 925 sterling silver. The chain is about 19.17, 19.7 inches in length. Now, in my opinion, the photos on the listing are kind of deceptive. It shows a photo and I, I will include it in here. It shows a photo of someone wearing this. And based on that picture, I would have guessed that this was about an inch, at least that little heart was about an inch in width. And it is not, it is less than half an inch in width. So it does have the size in the description on the listing. So I guess that's just on me. But yeah, I mean, the, the photo is definitely deceptive. So I do like the length of the chain. A lot of the chains that you get um, on Timu are pretty short, like about 16 inches in length, which um, I have a wider neck or, you know, I have this. So <laughs> if it's too short, it just, it really is like a choker on me. So. I don't, I don't like shorter chains. So this being that almost 20 inches long, I definitely like the size of it. It's just, I was just disappointed with the size of this. So yeah, it's just, it's a little heart. And then the other part is kind of like a little infinity symbol. So I'm also not, the biggest fan on the style of the chain of the necklace. I feel like it kind of looks like the sort of chain you get on, you know, like fashion necklaces or, you know, something that costs a couple of dollars. Like I just feel like the chain is just cheap looking. So I don't think I'm going to keep this. It, it was just a bit of a disappointment to me, partly because of what the chain looks like and partly because of the size of it but yeah I think I'm going to return it but it is I mean it's pretty it seems good quality <laughs> this next item you've seen a couple of times it's just a couple of more of these infinity pencils I paid 278 for the two of them and I did get a bit of a price adjustment they are currently 248 um, in case anybody hasn't seen previously so this is what it looks like. It just comes with the one tip installed. There are no spares. And these tips just screw in and out. So when it gets that it's pretty much done, you can order more of just these tips, but they are pretty durable. They certainly don't break easily. So, and then in the other end of the in here there is an eraser so yeah like I said repeat purchase so I, I do really like these next we have uh, some erasers so these were 278 when I purchased them I did get a bit of a price adjustment currently they are 231 they come in two different color combinations and uh, I'm sure it's just something that was in the translation, but they have boy style and girl style. So I bought the boy style <laughs> and it's just the colors. So you get the blue, this green, and like a light purple, 
the girl ones are pink, white, and I'm pretty much this color as well. So these are nice little erasers. They're, you know, easy to hold and they erase really well. Kind of, they erase the same as like a white, you know, like white erasers. So they erase well and they don't leave a lot of residue behind. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, I just thought they were cute. <laughs> and they can go with my infinity pencils. The next item I have are some insoles. I paid $3.39 for these. They are currently $3.98. I got the yellow ones. They also come in red and green. As far as I can tell from the listing, there is no difference other than the color. Like it's not like that one provides more support in one area of the foot over another. Like it, it doesn't indicate that at all. So I'm not really sure the purpose of the different colors because I think they're all the same color on top. So it's just the bottom. Anyway, they also come in six different sizes. The sizing listing, the sizes in the listing are European sizes. So you need to know that before you can figure out what size you want. I had purchased these uh, because I got some UGG style boots off of Temu before and they had like no support in them at all. I really like these these boots, but they they just they're very very flat. So I got these to put in them. I they they don't feel like great insoles, but they were pretty cheap. So and anything any support that I can have in those is gonna make an improvement over what they were like, you know, just as I bought them. So yeah, I as I said, not not super great quality. If you really, really need the support, if you're gonna be walking a lot, I wouldn't recommend these ones. But for what I'm gonna how often I'm gonna have them on and, and using them, I think they'll be fine. The next item is a pair of gloves. I paid $2.97. They are currently $6.48 for most of the colors. They are men's gloves and they were only came in one size. They come in black, navy blue, a dark gray, and a light gray. So the black, the, the navy, and the dark gray are all $6.47 currently. The light gray is $4.48. They are touch screen gloves, so they have like the little part so that you can use your phone or whatever when you're wearing them. Now, <laughs> under the description of these, it says that they are 95% cashmere and 5% spandex, but it also says that they are made from alpaca wool. And cashmere is not made from alpaca wool. <laughs> Cashmere is, is made from a specific kind of goat's um, fur, so, or wool, whatever. So, I, I don't know. Apparently, alpaca wool is supposed to be about 30% warmer than other wools. So, I really, I don't really know what they're made of. Like, I don't, there's no tag, like, inside them or anything. They're not lined or anything, but they are nice and soft. So they're not, with them not being lined, they're not super thick or anything, but they do feel nice. As I said, they're men's and there's only one size. These, I would think, would not fit a lot of men. I do have kind of big hands, but I, I mean, I know like they definitely wouldn't fit my husband. So yeah. There's, they are nice. I like them. I haven't really had an opportunity to test how good they are. If the weather was really cold, the listing shows that they're supposed to be good for like minus 30 degree weather. And I have a really hard time believing that. Like they're, they're not lined. So I can't see this keeping you warm in minus 30 degree weather, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe the alpaca wool is really, really good. <laughs> Maybe it is super warm. I don't know, but I can't see these keeping you warm in minus 30 degree weather, like minus 30 Celsius. So, but 
for what I wanted. They're they're great, and I did get a, a really good deal on them, getting them for under three dollars when they're currently over, you know, six. So very happy with them. So happy, in fact, that I bought a second pair by accident. Two orders in a row. <laughs> Alrighty, so the next item I have is this knit vest. Uh, everyone's probably sick of seeing these vests because I have hauled this before. I hauled it in a green color in the 5X and then I got it in black in a 4X. And then I sent the 5X in green back and I got the 4X so then I showed it. And <laughs> anyway, so this is the beige or khaki color. I got this for $12.39 and then I got a small price adjustment on it. Currently the beige or khaki color is $17.07. For anybody who hasn't seen my previous hauls, uh, quickly go over. These come in sizes 0XL all the way up to 5XL and it comes in green, black, gray, blue, and this beige color. Prices on the other colors varies depending on what the color is. Uh, the cheapest being about $16.57 right now and the most expensive being $27. It is very nice quality. As I've said before, I really, really like the style of it. It's just not the color I was expecting. It. I don't know what it is about the color that to me makes it seem cheap, but I'm not really fond of it so I'm likely gonna return this even though I got a super good deal on it getting it for just over $12 I just don't see me wearing it because it just yeah I don't know I just don't like it so and I mean I have it in green I have it in black and I've got a blue one on the way so do I need a fourth probably not <laughs> All right, so this is our last item today, and it is a cardigan. So this is a plus size cardigan. I paid $23.87 for this, and it is still $23.87. It is available in sizes 1XL through 5XL. This is the only color that it comes in. I had bought the 5XL because I wanted it to be a bit oversized. I don't know if that was a good idea. The sleeves are, can't really tell here, but you'll see in the try on clip. The sleeves are long, like I have to fold over the cuff of them because it's so long. The overall length is, is nice. It has the cable knitting on the back as well as on the front. There are no pockets in it. And then it's just got these buttons. I will say the buttons are not sewn on the greatest. They're very loose. Also, the button holes are also very loose. Like they're bigger than they need to be for the size of the buttons. But yeah, the buttons are pretty loose. But that would be an easy fix. So, uh, I this color, I like. If, if my vest... Had been actually <laughs> seeing them on camera at the same time they, they look pretty similar but yeah this just has a little more depth to the color I guess and this is just lighter and just very very much one shade so the color of it's nice it is nice and soft it would be super warm it, it is very nice, I but I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I just don't know that I would wear it that much. I think it would be it would be too warm for me. Like I tend to to get warm pretty easily and it's just it's really super, super thick and warm. So probably going to send it back. It also is a little bit bigger than it needs to be. So I don't know. If it's if you like the style of it, if you like the look of it, I definitely think it's a good deal, good quality, great price for you know a long thick sweater. But yeah, I think I'm gonna probably return this. 
All right, well, so we've come to the end. I hope you enjoyed and that you saw some things that you liked. I would greatly appreciate it if you could give my video a thumbs up or thumbs down if that's what you want. But those kinds of interactions on the video really do help. Uh, if you are not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It doesn't cost you anything. Just click that button. But again, that also really helps my channel. So yeah, I really am hoping to get to 500. That would be amazing. I am currently at 360 subscribers, run right about there. So that would be wonderful to be able to get up to 500. So, you know, share my video tell people about my channel. I would love it. Tell them how funny I am. I'm hilarious. I mean, come on. <sighs> anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again next week. So bye.